Like end of last year, we moved like you know 200 meters to a new building, and the good thing is before we had like three different warehouses. Now we fit everything in one, and actually the office space is also like two and a half times bigger. So we have more space and yeah, have more rooms and everything. So it's much more comfortable than before. What's the size of that building? Uh, we have about 1,000 square meters office space, and then we have additional some rooms like the fitness room here. And the warehouse size is almost 7,000 square meters. 7,000 square, so it's a big supermarket. No, it's a big supermarket, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no supermarket for food, but supermarket for inline skates. And uh, many of that stuff, like skateboards, scooters? Yes, everything. Skateboards, scooters, but mainly all kind of skates. Speed, aggressive, kids, fitness, so Nordic, everything is here now. Only one place and we're shipping out everything from one place. Can you tell us a few words about the difference you see in Paul's life? Uh, I think the good thing is now we are, we are faster. Before we were running one warehouse, not with our people, but through another you know, logistic company. So sometimes you know, they didn't want to ship out anymore after like two o'clock or now on Friday afternoon, they didn't want to ship out anymore. So we had more boxes going out. Now we have everything centralized, so we have less boxes shipping and everything, I think, in a fast and better way. How many people in Polosvay? Uh, we are 40 basically and sometimes in high season in spring we have more people. Well this year there was no spring really, it was only raining but still like you know spring season we have some more people in the warehouse working. Are you uh, preparing uh, new products here? Do you have your own uh Yes, here? everything here is basically we do our own products here and basically you know we have a big parking place and we can go skating outside right away so we, we plan everything here, we test everything here and we have like you know one room where we just have designers, in, industrial designers, graphic designers and then we have the product guys uh, like Scott, me and you know all the other guys working next to the designers so everything is in-house and really easy and fast to control. Uh, the team guys, are they coming often? Yeah. Uh, the team guys, depending, you know, uh, I would say it depends where they're coming from. Like Bart was at the Europa Cup, like the, the foreign guys like Bart and other guys that were here for the first time now. So normally they come one or two times per year to the office. Guys like Felix and, you know, the German guys, they come here more often because sometimes they come for, for training or for clinics. So they have been here before. Karen is working here too to test products or what? No, Kalen is mainly, uh, you know, he's living down in Geisingen. Mm -hmm. So he's testing and our products down in Geisingen and in Switzerland along, you know, with Livio and the uh, team guys down there. Okay, so that was the first time uh, for you to invite the shops in our headquarters. Did you visit the operation? Yes, this was the first time we invited the shops here. You know, we always doing this since a few years for the distributors international distributors and this year was the first time inviting the shops. It was good, it was not perfect, so we are learning how to make it better. It was good that we have a Europa Cup, we had the Blade Night, but we need to have a better timing and a better organization, but we're planning to do it next year with the aggressive event and the speed event again, a Nordic event, free skating event, and so we're planning to do it next year bigger and better because I think it's very good you talk to the shops, you get the feedback from the shops and you have time you know, to sit down and talk about products and test with them also the products. So, uh, do you want to add something to conclude? Well, I would, well, what is the conclusion, I guess, you know, the, we hope there are still a lot of people and shops out there who love skating, you know, like we do. And because we all think, you know, skating is a really great sport and it has potential to grow again. And a lot of people who do the sports, you know, think it has a lot of potential and it's one of the best and nicest outdoor sports I can imagine so even if it's you know not talking about racing only or fitness only or aggressive only you know everything skating is skating and you know whatever you do skating is perfect so keep on doing it and love to skate thank you